As a doctor who deals with the coronavirus patients on a daily basis, I should confess there's something strange with these patients. The way they look and the way they subjectively feel could be sometimes much different from what we objectively find. For example, sometimes the patient is sitting in their bed playing tic-tac-toe or watching TikTok on their phones and we check their vital signs and their oxygen level is 70%. Well, that's scary. Normal oxygen level should be 90 and above. Well, normally above 95, but anything below 90 is not acceptable. So we have had cases that we had to intubate patients or put a breathing tube down their throat and connect them to the ventilator or breathing machine, despite the fact that the patient was not feeling that sick. This is not very common in medicine. Usually when we put someone on a ventilator, they're very much in respiratory distress or they're out of it and they're confused and they don't know what's going on around them and for more severe cases. Now this has caused a lot of concerns about coronavirus. When should people seek emergency care? In this video, I'll tell you when to go to the emergency department. Now, of course, you've heard from everyone that if you have coronavirus and you don't have severe symptoms, just stay at home which is true. If you have a little bit of fever, congestion, headache, diarrhea, some losing of smell or taste, that's fine. You can deal with it, just stay at home. But then CDC or the Center for Disease and Infection Control tells us if we have these symptoms, we should seek medical care or emergency care. If you have severe shortness of breath, chest pain, confusion, if you cannot stay awake, you should seek emergency help. The problem is sometimes patients with severe coronavirus don't have severe symptoms, meaning that they don't feel respiratory distress or shortness of breath. For example, if someone has heart failure or another type of pneumonia and their oxygen level is 70%, they will feel an obvious shortness of breath and respiratory distress, meaning that they will breathe fast and deep and they will tell you they are short of breath. But this doesn't happen for COVID patients for some reason. So what can you do? Fortunately, there's a very nice tool that you can use, just like a thermometer to check your temperature, a pulse oximeter. A pulse oximeter is a small machine that goes on your finger and it shows you what your oxygen levels are. It comes with a, with a very nice case. It's a small machine. It's not very expensive. You can buy it on the internet for like $20, $30. Ironically enough, they're all made in China. So this goes under your finger. It uses light beams to measure the level of saturation of your red blood cells with oxygen. So when you press the button, it's not showing anything. It's detecting my pulse, as you can see. It's going up and down, and it's trying to measure my oxygen level. 96, not bad, and 83 is my pulse. If you have one of these at home, if you feel short of breath, if you have coronavirus or any other disease, if your oxygen saturation is in low 90s, you're probably fine. But if it drops below 90, then you probably need supplemental oxygen with nasal cannula or oxygen mask to help bring up your oxygen levels. Now, having one of these at home comes in very handy, and I strongly recommend you to buy one. Well, I don't have one. I have a friend who checks his oxygen level three times a day, and he was kind enough to give it to me just to make this video. Now, it's a very nice device for self monitoring and also detecting silent hypoxia or as we call in medicine the happy hypoxemics but be careful this shouldn't replace the consultation with your doctor and also you should always be aware of other symptoms so it shouldn't give you a false security meaning that you could have other signs or symptoms of severe disease but your oxygen levels are fine if you have confusion or trouble staying awake maybe the co2 in your blood is going up and your oxygen levels are fine so you shouldn't judge based on only this number so if everything else is fine and your oxygen number is okay, then you're okay to stay home. If you feel severe symptoms and your oxygen levels drops below 90, go to the emergency department. It just saved your lives. You're welcome. I hope your numbers never go below 100. Stay safe, stay at home, stay COVID free. Like this video, share and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and stay healthy.